Now it's time for the questionnaire. This week, it's actress Olivia Williams. There was a generation of buddy movies that I have an infinite capacity for. I love The Man Who Would Be King. I love The Sting, The Magnificent Seven. And I love Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. What's your idea this time? Bolivia? What Bolivia? Bolivia, that's a country, stupid. I love the moments in them, I love the the humour in them, I love the relationship between the men. I think it's set off something in my life of, of wanting to be a boy. <laughs> what I love about Paul Newman is that he had enormous sort of physical humour that was just made all the more astonishing by his beautiful good looks. <laughs> I saw, as I think most uh, kids of my generation did, uh, Paper Moon and wanted to be Tatum O'Neill and wanted um, Ryan O'Neill to be my dad. Keep your sunny side up, up. Subsequent events have shown that that might have been <laughs> a bad choice of both life and parenting. They looked like they were having such fun, but there was such drama and love and and disappointment and euphoria in their story and relationship. It's a kind of buddy movie where the girl gets to function on equal footing and a sort of asexual footing um, with the cool bloke. What'd you find out? It's got a lot of bottles. It keeps in some kind of bin out back. How big's the bin? About as big as our car trunk, maybe. What'd you plan to do? Find out where he keeps his goods. Well, there was a little shack out there too, but he didn't go in it. Mm -hmm. Well, honey, uh, how about a little walk before Daddy puts you in the bed? Oh, goody! It was the fact that she got to be anarchic and, and mischievous and the fact that she was tough and could, you know, struck a good deal and she was a tomboy. You're too young to smoke. You're going to set this whole place on fire. Tess of the D'Abervilles. The moment when Tess decides that she'll tell her future husband uh, what happened to her and, and the note, instead of sitting on the doormat, slips underneath it and he never sees it. And that was unbearable. I know that Polanski came under a lot of uh, attack for casting Natasha Kinski, who very obviously isn't a Dorset wench uh, in this role. But I think she actually did it very beautifully. I don't know if it's because I was just impressionable and it got me at the right age. If you helped me, perhaps I could climb along the bank. Tess, I've gone to three quarters of this trouble for your sake alone. Polanski is very knowledgeable about Hardy and the novels, but also has a tremendously instinctive emotional response to things. I just wish I could have been Liza Minnelli as Sally Bowles in Cabaret, in that f astonishing movie. I was told there might be a room to rent here. Not too expensive, I, I hope. Divine decadence. Amazing scene where he says, screw Maximilian. Oh, screw Maximilian! I do. <sighs> so do I. To be able to say those lines and have that revelation and, yeah, I want to play the part, I want to sing the songs, I want to dance the dance, I want to wear the costume. But um, I think it would be very embarrassing if I ever did. That's all for tonight. Next week's show will be on Tuesday and we'll be reviewing The Hunger Games, Wild Bill and The Pirates. Plus, we take a look at the summer blockbusters coming your way this